Get your way, Shiotti. Perfect defense. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Shane here with another Fight Tips Quick Tip. So the question today is, Shane, how can I improve my weaker hand? For most of us, it's our left. Others, it's the right. I need to know how to improve it to get it stronger and more accurate and what have you. Without offending anybody, I want to first start off by saying this is sort of an amateur question because the answer is simple. You need to practice it more. Like anything else, you're probably throwing that right hand more than you are the left. We'll go into a heavy bag or go into an, an open spot in your room or outside and shadow box and throw that punch 100, 200, 300 times straight through. But here's where a technique really comes into play. Next, what I want you to do is either film yourself, do it in front of a mirror, or just really pay attention to your technique. Because are you even throwing your dominant hand correctly? That's my question to you. It may feel like there's good pop in it or, or a lot of power in it, but are you technically sound? Are you throwing it correctly? Now I want you to pay attention. Are you pivoting on your foot if it's a cross? Are you twisting your hips? Are you popping your shoulder, fully extending your punch and retracting it quickly? Or are you just relying on the muscles that you use when throwing a ball or writing or brushing your teeth because you use that hand a lot? You know, that's where that really comes into play. Technique is key. If you understand that you are throwing your right hand correctly and that's why it has a lot of power and accuracy, then switch your stance and make sure that you're doing the exact same thing in the opposite hand. You see, I had this same problem except in reverse. When I started boxing, my, my jab was great, but my right hand sucked, my cross, and I'm right-handed. So what my coach realized is that I was pushing my cross. I wasn't popping it like I do my jab. So he had me switch my stance into a southpaw stance Right, and then he started, he had me throw 200 punches on the bag with my right hand, which was now my jabbing hand. He wanted me to make sure that I was stepping on each punch, that I was twisting my hips and popping the punch very quickly, just like I did with my jab hand. Then after those 200 punches, I went back into the orthodox stance and I started throwing the cross. And it had much more of a pop like my jab did. Okay, so that's another thing that you can do. Whether it's your jab that sucks or your cross, switch it, switch your stance, and then start practicing that punch really focusing on the fundamentals of technique twisting your hips pivoting on the foot all right proper footwork proper balance and distribution and all of these things and then do that with the opposite hand and make sure that you're doing it all correctly that will help your uh, weaker hand your non-dominant hand become better and have a better punch same thing goes with your legs as well before you even ask that question before you comment same exact thing just throw tons of kicks on the bag or in shadow boxing Focus more on that weaker leg and make sure the technique is correct. All right, guys, a little bit of a ramble there, but make sure you're following me on Twitter at Fight Tips and send me some questions so I can answer it in a video like this. Make sure you subscribe so you get the Fight Tips before your opponent does. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Oh, and before you go, this Sunday is going to be an awesome video. A lot of stuff coming out. I'm actually uploading two videos, so keep an eye out for that. All right, until then, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self-defense for the underdogs.